I'm Iira Randala, a jazz pianist, classical pianist, composer, arranger, and a band leader. And this is Iiros Hotline. You have sent me great questions about music and life, and now I will provide you my answers to my best knowledge. All of this for free! Welcome to Iiros Hotline. Every day I play the same warm-up. I also play it before the concerts, in the sound checks. Um, all hand warm-ups are terrible music. But I, I, I think it's really important to make your hands warm before you go into the real stuff. My family members are ready to kill themselves when they hear my everyday hand warm-up. But there's a prize for everything. I want to share my hand warm up with you. It goes like this. I want to present the warm-up. C6 C minor 6 C diminished A flat 7 And now it goes up to D flat Woo! D flat minor 6 D flat diminished, diminished, and A7 going up to D. Well, it's not all there. You play all uh, the 12 uh, tones, and then you're ready to kill yourself. If you're looking for something really, really difficult to play, uh, check out anything written by Sergei Rachmaninov or Franz Liszt. That's difficult. Uh, everything they wrote is really difficult. Uh, romantic era classical piano music. Uh, my favorite is the Piano Etudes by <laughs> Frederick Chopin. Uh, uh, this etude book is actually much thicker, but it's in million pieces uh, somewhere uh, in the hoods. Uh, this is only the first part. And uh, in this selection, you'll find uh, answers to almost every technical problem there is for piano. And these are great pieces to play. But sometimes an easy melody is very difficult to play. And a great example of that is the music of Mozart, uh, which is full of easy melodies, but they're extremely hard to get it right. This is the piano concerto number 21, Sedur, uh, the slow movement. By the way, the first time I heard this was uh, the Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me. And watching the Bond film, I thought, wow, they really hired a good score <laughs> composer for this. I didn't know it's Mozart. Anyway, uh, this is a very easy melody, and I've, I've spent a lot of time to get it right. Uh, I'll show you. so many questions hidden into those four bars. 
how hard I should play the left hand, how much pedal I should use, uh, what's the balance between the right and left hand, how much crescendo I should use, and how to make it sing. All these questions in my head make me crazy. The idea for uh, my Finnish calendar, well, I, I thought uh, it would be a fun thing to do. Antonio Vivaldi wrote uh, his Four Seasons uh, 300 years ago, but he was Italian and the weather there is nice and, you know, he was having some antipasto and vino and nice music came out. But in Finland, it's a different uh, ball game. The weather can be really challenging here and we really have 12 seasons. The weather is changing all the time and usually for the worse. So my Finnish calendar is really a story about how the Finnish people change with the weather. We are totally different in the wintertime and in the summertime. So uh, this program is also educational. You know the Finns better and then you can decide when to come to Finland. My favorite would be November. I think Finland is as its best in November and so are the people. So welcome. End of November will be great. Awesome. <laughs>